One of the career paths suggested by Michael J. Driver. The linear career. One of the career paths suggested by Michael J. Driver. The steady state career. One of the career paths suggested by Michael J. Driver. The spiral career. The linear career. Climbing the stairs, moving up in an organization in a series of jobs. The steady state career. Discovering early on that you are comfortable with a certain career and staying with it. The spiral career. Holding different jobs that build on one another. Planning. Setting goals and deciding how to achieve them. Planning. Coping with uncertainty by formulating future courses of action to achieve specified results. Detail number one of planning and strategic management. Establish the organization's mission and vision. Detail number two of planning and strategic management. Formulate the grand strategy. Detail number three of planning and strategic management. Formulate the strategic plans, then the tactical and operational plans. Detail number four of planning and strategic management. Implement the strategic plans. Detail number five of planning and strategic management. Control the strategy. How planning helps you. Helps you check on your progress. How planning helps you. Helps you coordinate activities. How planning helps you. Helps you think ahead. How planning helps you. Helps you cope with uncertainty. One of the four basic strategy types adopted by organizations as suggested by scholars Raymond E. Miles and Charles C. Snow. Defenders. One of the four basic strategy types adopted by organizations as suggested by scholars Raymond E. Miles and Charles C. Snow. Prospectors. One of the four basic strategy types adopted by organizations as suggested by scholars Raymond E. Miles and Charles C. Snow. Analyzers. One of the four basic strategy types adopted by organizations as suggested by scholars Raymond E. Miles and Charles C. Snow. Reactors. Defenders. Experts at producing, producing and selling narrowly defined products or services. Example of a Defender Corporation. 
Walmart. Prospectors. Focus on developing new products or services and in seeking out new markets rather than waiting for things to happen. Example of a prospector corporation. Apple. Analyzers. Let other organizations take the risks of product development and marketing and then imitate what seems to work best. Example of an analyzer corporation. Microsoft. Reactors. Make adjustments only when finally forced to buy environmental pressures. Example of a reactor corporation. Kmart. Fred Handbag Photography scans its environment regularly, however, it does not tend to seek opportunities outside its present markets. This company would be a analyzer. Scholars Miles and Snow also introduced the idea of the blank which portrays businesses as Continuously cycling through decisions about three kinds of problems. Adaptive cycle. Adaptive cycle. Businesses are continuously cycling through decisions about three kinds of business problems. Entrepreneurial, engineering, and administrative. Mission An organization's purpose or reason for being Mission Statement Expresses an organization's purpose Vision A long-term goal describing what an organization wants to become, it is a clear sense of the future and the actions needed to get there. Vision Statement Expresses what the organization should become. Strategic Planning Determines what the organization's long-term goals should be for the next one to five years with the resources they expect to have available. Tactical planning. Determines what contributions their departments are similar work units can make during the next six to twenty-four. Months. Operational planning. Determines how to accomplish specific tasks with available resources within the next 1 to 52 weeks. Goal. Specific commitment to achieve a measurable result within a stated period of time. Means and chain. In the chain of management, the accomplishment of low level goals is the means leading to the accomplishment of high level goals or ends. Strategic goals. Set by and for top management and focus on objectives for the organization as a whole. Tactical goals. 
set by and for middle managers and focus on the actions needed to achieve strategic goals. Operational Goals Set by and for first-line managers and are concerned with short-term matters associated with Realizing Tactical Goals Smart Goals Goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, results-oriented and has targeted dates Action Plan Defines the course of action needed to achieve the stated goal. Operating Plan Typically designed for a one-year period, defines how you will conduct your business based on the Action Plan. It identifies clear targets such as revenues, cash flow, and market share. Standing Plan Plan developed for activities that occur repeatedly over a period of time. Standing Plans consist of Policies, Procedures and Rules Policy Standing plan that outlines the general response to a designated problem or situation. Procedure Standing plan that outlines the response to particular problems or circumstances. Rule Standing plan that designates specific required action. Single use plan. Plan developed for activities that are not likely to be repeated in the future. Single use plans can be either. Set objectives for the employee. Managers develop action plans. Managers and employees periodically review the employee's performance, and the manager makes a performance appraisal and rewards the employee according to Peter Drucker Management philosopher who first suggested MBO in 1954 Three types of objectives used in MBO Improvement objectives, personal development objectives, and maintenance objectives For MBO to be successful, three things have to happen Top management must be committed, it must be applied organization-wide, objectives must cascade. Cascading Sending objectives down through the organization, that is, objectives are structured in a unified hierarchy, becoming more specific at lower levels of the organization. Planning Control Cycle Has two planning steps and two control steps as follows. Make the plan, carry out the plan. Control the direction by comparing results with the plan. Control the direction by taking corrective action in two ways. Namely, by correcting deviations in the plan being carried out or by improving future plans.